This is it, we've done it, we've managed to make it all the way through round one. This is the final battle of round one before we move into our round two knockouts. Today we have a bit of an interesting battle. We have the organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade from Arbor Teas. I'm going to talk about that a little bit more in a moment. Up against Daphne from Breakaway Matcha. I will talk about that a little bit more as well. Starting with the organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade from Arbor Trees. One thing I noticed about the organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade from Arbor Teas is that it is the exact same container that we saw from Upton Tea, which makes me wonder if they are both sourcing from the same supplier and just labeling it for their individual companies. Not only is it the exact same container, but the name is also that utilitarian organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade. Without knowing for sure, I'm like 95% sure that this is the exact same tea that we've already tasted, just from a different seller. So that's a bit interesting. The thing that's interesting about Daphne is that this is the most expensive offering in the entire roundup. It's a bit difficult to go into this without any preconceived notions. We have what is potentially the most premium option. It's certainly the highest priced option in the entire battle. Going up against what is potentially one of the few teas from the battles thus far that I would not even buy again. Going into it, I'm, I already have this preconceived notion of what is going to win, but of course we have to try and come at this as objectively as possible. So of course we'll brew them up and I will see you back here in a minute. So right off the bat we can see that the Daphne is more uniformly deep green. The crema on the organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade has some of those more darker notes, more towards the brown notes. They both have pretty pretty decent color on the actual, although the Daphne definitely looks more vibrantly green. Whereas I'd say the organic matcha just looks kind of a deep green. Let's smell them. Almost get like like a bubblegum sweetness, kind of sugary sweetness. It's very weird. I have to go searching for it. It's not like in your face strong, but if you sit there with it for a minute, it's kind of a strong sweetness coming off of that. It's kind of interesting. And then the organic, that's kind of weird. Got kind of like that linen, fresh laundry, slightly twiggy. Does have some of that cinnamon that I picked up in the Upton, which again sort of leads me to believe that it's Possibly the same matcha. Not as strong in the face as the Upton with a very pronounced cinnamon in that one. And I kind of got that as I was whipping it up, but just sitting here, I don't get that smell quite as strongly. And with that, let's try giving them a taste. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, super sweet. It's like kind of weird how sweet this matcha is. Very smooth, very creamy. It's got a lot of that umaminess. Just a just a twinge of kind of bitter and astringency. Just a lightest little bit. But very rich, very deep. So smooth. I could just practically drink that whole thing without even realizing it. Try the organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade. Such a mouthful there. It's not as bitter as I was expecting. Even coming off the heels of something as ultra smooth and creamy with practically no bitterness as the Daphne, where the contrast could be heightened. There's some bitterness, but it's not as strong. It's not bad. It might be a different batch or something, but again, the, the, the name and the container being so similar to the one from Upton. I feel like this one, just going off of my memory, of course, I feel like this one's a little bit better than the one from Upton. Hard to tell without doing a side-by-side. -side. In this side-by-side, -side, the Daphne, I mean, it's just, it's no contest. It's so good. Super, super creamy, tasty, just all around goodness. All right, so Daphne, not much of a surprise there, moving into round two, which kicks out the organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade, making our bracket look like this. Now for a little bit more information about the organic matcha green tea ceremonial grade, and the vendor is Arbor Teas. I really like their approach to tea in general. 
They've got quite a bit of information. They have information about the different farms. Maybe not the highest grade, but they have a lot of different kind of experimental teas that you can find there too. So I got like silver needle from Rwanda and some black tea from Hawaii and just kind of different options that you don't see. And a lot of high-end tea places which typically just focus on the Japanese and Chinese offerings. Um, and then sometimes uh, delving into India if you want to get some of that Darjeeling. But I, I like what they do. I like their website. I like I, they have a good message and they present it pretty well. This comes in at one ounce, which is about 28 grams. I feel like the Upton tea was a traditional 30 gram. So I don't know if they just change it slightly for a more American audience and just work with the supplier again. I don't know, there's just so much similar between the two. It's it's weird. It could very well be completely different and they just happen to find the same maker of the containers and just bought the containers from the same manufacturer and then sourced completely different teas and had them filled completely differently and happened to also both pick very generic sounding names because it has a lot of good SEO words in the title, right? Who knows? This 28 gram-ish container comes in at $29.80. That is not an international order, so that's not because of conversion. It just happens to be a $29.80 offering off of their website, which brings it in at around $1.06 per gram. Season cultivar, we don't know. Origin, though, Shizuoka, Japan. And unlike the Upton Tea offering, this one has a, a bit more information. So I'm going to read this directly off of the website. There's a bit of a grammatical issue here at the beginning, um, and I'm just going to plow right through it. So, this organic matcha is a ceremonial grade matcha, contains only the highest color quality, brilliant green, and offers a smooth, slightly bitter taste. This excellent quality organic green tea is perfect for daily consumption or for that special treat. Matcha is a variety of organic tea from Japan that is stone ground at the end of the manufacturing process, resulting in an ultra-fine tea powder that is typically whisked in hot water until a frothy consistency is reached as in the traditional Japanese tea ceremony. The resulting brew has much more body and flavor than tea brewed in a conventional fashion with a thick, rich, green taste and slight bitterness. Less information about this tea than just matcha in general, unfortunately. But uh, that's what we have to go on. And with that, we are ready to move in to the 